News broke May 1 that Ryan Garcia tested positive for the banned substance Osterine following his April majority decision victory over Devin Haney. It wasn't long before one of Garcia's rivals and former opponents, Gervonta Tank Davis posted direct messages between himself and Garcia talking about the failed drugs test. Tank Davis is renowned for his thunderous punching, world championship belts in three weight classes, and for his thumping wins over Jose Pedraza. Isaac Cruz, and Rolando Romero. He took to X, the social media site formerly known as Twitter on Thursday to post the private messages. According to the messages, Garcia appeared to profess his innocence and said it would be proven in the coming days. Davis had earlier been vocal on social media about how happy he was that Garcia had beaten Haney, but then says if he is defending and rooting for Garcia in public but then finds out that Garcia did in fact consume a banned substance then there'd be metaphorical hell to pay. Interestingly, Garcia said to Tank that we can just run it again in a real fight. He is therefore insinuating that they could contest a rematch of their April 2023 mega fight in which Davis dominated Garcia, beat him to the floor, and stopped him in the seventh round of a fight that sold 1.2 million times at the U.S. box office. Per veteran boxing reporter Dan Raphael, Garcia tested positive for the banned PED Osterine in a VEDA test related to the Haney fight. Raphael then posted a letter from VEDA confirming the test result. Per Raphael, Garcia returned a positive test on both the day before the fight and the day of the fight in separate tests. He has denied the allegation and even made jokes about the positive test result. It is unclear as of yet what will happen from here. Garcia became the talk of the boxing world for the right reasons for the manner in which he defeated Haney to score the most significant win of his pro career. But the New York Athletic State Commission now has the Option to overturn the result of that match to a no contest, Sports Illustrated reported.